Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll continue explaining how to prepare SiteWorks BOQ in accordance with principles of measurement international, starting right now. So previously, we have talked about all these subsections that comes under the SiteWorks, which is section B. And in this video, we'll be talking about starting from section B19, underground drainage and B20 paving and surfacing, B21 fencing, B22 landscaping, B23 railway work, B24 tunnel excavation, B25 tunnel lining, and B26 tunnel support and stabilization. So starting with subsection B19, which is underground drainage. So drain pipes shall be measured by length taken along the center line over all fittings. Drain pipes within inspection chambers or the like shall be so described and shall be understood to include fixing and supports. Drain fittings in the length, for example, bends or junctions, shall be enumerated, grouped together for each side of pipe and described as fittings. Drain accessories, for example gilly traps, shall be enumerated and concrete surrounds and additional excavation shall be understood to be included. So what is the meaning here? First of all drain pipes you have to measure them by length along the center line and this will include all the fittings and everything so your measurement should be in the center line. And any drain pipes that will come within the inspection chambers or the like shall be so described. Drain fittings in the length for example, bends, junctions, all these fittings shall be enumerated. So you have to enumerate these fittings and you should group them together by size. Okay, so each size you will have a separate item in the BOQ and you will describe them as fittings. Drain accessories, and here they are giving example the ghillie traps, for example, shall be enumerated also. And concrete surrounds and any additional excavation required for these accessories shall be understood to be included in the item of the drain accessories. So concrete bits and coverings for drain pipes shall be measured by length, stating the diameter of the pipe. Surrounds to vertical pipes shall be so described and shall be understood to include the formwork. Inspection chambers or the like shall be enumerated. Alternatively, they may be measured in accordance with relevant sections of this document given under an appropriate heading. And the last point here, connections to existing drains shall be enumerated subject to close GP or general principles A. So concrete beds and coverings. If you have any beds or coverings that made of concrete for drain pipes to protect them, these shall be measured by length. And you have to state the diameter of the pipe that these beddings or coverings should cover and if you have any vertical pipes that surrounds to vertical pipes shall be described and they shall be understood to include the formwork because if you want to make concrete surround for a vertical pipe then in that case you need formwork so that you can cast the concrete and make that vertical concrete surround inspection chambers or the like shall be enumerated so all the inspection chambers manholes and this stuff should be enumerated or you can measure them in accordance with the relevant sections of principles of measurement international. Like for example, you can measure the concrete of the inspection chambers separate from if there is any block, separate from the waterproofing, separate from if you will make plastering inside, if there are any paints and the excavation will be separate and each of these items can come under the correct headings as per principles of measurement international or just simply you can count them and have them under your site works in numbers and this is the option that i prefer actually connections to existing drains shall be enumerated subject to close general principles number eight so any connections that you need to the existing drains these connections shall be enumerated and they shall be dealt with in accordance with close general principles or subsection number eight in the general principles and we have explained that in a previous video by the way, I'll keep all the links to the previous Principles of Measurement International videos in the description down below so you can see all the previous videos if you haven't seen them so far. Coming to the subsection number 20, which is paving and surfacing. So paving and surfacing shall be measured by area. If you have any paving, you have to measure that by area. Expansion joints and water stops shall be measured by length. If you have any expansion joints or water stops, you have to measure them by length in linear meters or whatever and channels curbs edgings or the like shall be measured also by length and curved work shall be so described if you have something that will be measured in length it is linear but it is curved it looks like a curve 
so you have to describe that so whoever is pricing the BOQ can understand that this is a curve and it might cost a little bit more than the straight linear measurements. So coming to subsection number 21 which is fencing so fencing shall include posts and supports in the length and shall be measured by length excavating pits disposal and filling shall be understood to be included and any special posts for example gate posts or straining posts shall be enumerated if you have any special posts you have to count them and excavating pits disposal and filling shall be understood to be included gates barriers or the like shall be enumerated so the gate itself you have to enumerate or count the gates and finishes shall be measured in accordance with section j which we will be talking about in details in the future coming to the subsection number 22 which is landscaping works so cultivating and fertilizing ground shall be measured by area if you need to cultivate some area or or you need to put some fertilizers for an area these should be measured by area and soiling seeding and turfing shall be measured also by area hedges shall be measured by length and trees shrubs shall be enumerated so when you are talking about the landscaping especially softscaping we are talking here about these four points and most of them are by area but hedges shall be measured by length and trees and shrubs and the like shall be enumerated anything else like cultivating fertilizing soiling seeding turfing all this stuff shall be measured by area coming to subsection number 23 which is railway work so track guard rails and conductor rails shall each be measured by length so the tracks and the guard rails and this stuff will be measured by length and this is taken along the center line over all the fittings and if you have any curved work this also shall be described it has to be described that it is a curved work because always curved work is more expensive than straight work so it has to be described that it is curved sleepers and the chairs shall be enumerated and switches crossings shall also be enumerated and they can be classified as following you have switches and turnouts you have diamond crossings single slip crossings and double slip crossings and any other switches and the crossings so you need to have these items in your boq and you need to count each of them continuing railway work so ballast shall be measured by volume without deduction for track and it will be classified as follows bottom ballast and top ballast and what is this ballast it's the aggregate or the gravel that you can see under the railways if you have railways in your country and you have a look you will see some gravel or some aggregate that the tracks and everything are laid on so that one should be measured by volume without deduction for tracks and it is classified as bottom and top so in your BOQ you will have these two separate items each item will have a separate volume concrete track foundations shall be measured by length except that over width foundation for switches and crossings shall be measured by area reinforcement and shuttering shall be understood to be included so if you have some foundations for the tracks these foundations for the tracks shall be measured by length but if you have some over width foundations big ones for switches and the crossings and so on these foundations shall be measured by area and the reinforcement and the shuttering work shall be understood to be included in this item because when we will see the concrete works you need to split concrete from reinforcement from form work but what they are saying here that in case of concrete track foundations the steel reinforcement shuttering and everything and the concrete should be included in the same item that is measured by area continuing the third section of railway work so bitumen filler to complete rail assemblies shall be measured by length and buffer stops wheel stops or the like shall be enumerated these items shall be measured in count signaling installations shall be measured in accordance with section l and section r which are the mechanical and electrical sections that we will be seeing in the future but the signaling installations shall be measured in accordance with the mechanical and electrical sections of the principles of measurement international so the bitumen filler will be measured by length buffer stops and wheel stops will be enumerated signaling installations shall be measured in accordance with section l or section r or both i have grouped all the previous videos of principles of measurement international in this playlist so you can watch all of them if you haven't seen them so far and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care and bye bye